Hello and welcome to the third day of uh, Magnus Carlsen Chess 2 Finals and today we'll be analyzing an interesting game played uh, between Ding Liren and Magnus Carlsen from the third set. The first rapid game from the third set ended in a draw. The second was won by Carlsen. So now let's have a look at uh, game 3 and see if Ding can win this game and level the scores. So playing with the white pieces, Ding goes for knight to f3 and c5 replies Carlsen and now e4. We are having a Sicilian defense game on the board and at d6. Now d4 and c takes d4, knight takes at d4 and knight to f6. Now it's the open variation line and knight to c3 and a6. It's the nudged off variation now and bishop to e3 and e6 now here the game transposes to the chevenigen variation of sicilian now f3 and b5 preparing carlsen preparing for b4 and ding plays a3 stopping b4 and then bishop to b7 and g4 preparing to play g5 and attack the knight now h6 by Carlsen. Now queen to d2 and knight to knight bd7 for the developing the pieces. And now ding goes for queen side castling. Now rook to c8. Here Carlsen get a semi open rook file. And the prophylactic move king to b1 to secure the king. And then d5 by Carlsen. Here is attacking the e4 pawn. So in reply to d5, ding plays e takes a d5 into d5 and knight into d5. And then knight into d5 and bishop into d5. Here Carlsen gets a very good center square for his bishop. And he can plan for future attack. So rook to g1, here ding goes for promotion of pawn on g4, Carson plays a bishop to c5 and f4 by ding, now knight to f6 preparing for knight to e4 and attack the queen on a d2. So in reply to knight to f6, uh, ding plays bishop 3 stopping the knight from playing e4 and queen to c7. Carlsen consolidating his position here and preparing for an attack. So now queen to e1. So in reply to queen to e1, Carlsen plays a knight to e4. So ding plays h4. Here ding is planning to launch an attack on the king's side by promoting his pawns. Now queen to b7. Here Carlsen is preparing for b4 and further launch an attack on the king side so c3 by ding stopping black from playing b4 now here Carlsen plays a brilliant move and he goes for bishop into a3 here if ding takes a b into a3 then knight into c3 knight into c3 check and white will lose the rook on a d1 so in reply to bishop into a3 Ding plays f5 and then b4 by Carlsen. Here Carlsen is pressing so hard uh, on the queen side to for a victory here. So Ding plays a c4 attacking the bishop and he's getting he got a pass pawn as well. But the position here favors Carlsen because pieces are well developed and Carlsen here can launch a strong attack with the queen on b7 and the rook on c8 and the knight on e4 so in reply to c4 Carlsen is not at all bothered about uh, the bishop on d5 now he goes for knight to c3 yet another brilliant move and knight to c3 check ding plays a king to a1 he didn't go for b b into c3 because b in, after b into c3 then b into c3 and it's check 
he avoid cannot uh, escape from getting mated even if he uh, the white king plays king to a1 or king to c1 if play uh, if uh, white plays king to b1 then queen to queen to b2 is checkmate so in reply to knight to c3 check he ding plays a king to a1 and then carlson wins a pawn by playing bishop into c4 now f into e6 to get an initiative here uh, here ding is also trying for counter attack and uh, now carlson decide to castle on the king side and uh, bishop into c4 and a rook into c4 here the position is much better for carlson even though the knight and bishop is under attack but the position still favors carlson because uh, white cannot play either a into b into a3 or b into c3 because of the queen so in reply to rook into c4 uh, ding plays a rook to d2 bishop into b2 check now king takes b2 king into b2 and here b3 carlson is playing a brilliant attack here all his pieces are very well placed on the king side carlson's rook on c4 and knight on c3 is well placed to launch an attack and further queen on b7 is very strong and he can combine his rooks he can bring his rook on f8 b8 further launch a strong attack and push hard on the queen side so after b3 ding goes for e into f7 check spread leading is also trying hard so e into f7 after e into f7 queen into f7 here ding plays a blunder he goes for knight into b3 because this knight into b3 allows carlson to pin the uh, the knight by playing rook to b4 now white is about to lose the knight on b3 because in no way white can defend the knight on b3 queen cannot play a d1 and support so ding will lose so it was in this position on move 29 ding resigned the game so it was brilliant show by carlson he sacrificed he showed uh, how tactics can be applied to win games a brilliant tactical victory for carlson so hope you all enjoyed the game stay tuned for more action from the magnus carlson chess 2 finals and thank you for watching